Hello good people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today we're going to be comparing two very popular fragrances at this moment. One is a flanker of the other and other one is a classic already. So as you can see from title without doing too much intro, it's going to be between <clears throat> my Versace Eros versus, versus <laughs> Versace Eros Flame. These two are going head on, uh, not collision, but we're going to be doing a comparison video and let you know which one is actually a winner in terms of uh, value, smell, longevity and stuff like that okay and this one um, I have a few things to say and the perfumes actually are uh, some I, I just love them both okay so Versace Eros I'll tell you before I start uh, my one one thing um, many of you at least I got five messages people asked me to do review on Initio Wood for Greatness right yeah finally it's in my hand I told you already it's a very beautiful bottle and I actually I'm testing it it's in the testing phase I will do initial impression uh, after I am satisfied with that research, you know, on my wearing and, you know, like testing. <clears throat> That's one. Second thing is, um, I'm getting some messages that I got a comment a few days back. One of the brothers from India is saying that I am looking like a monk uh, in a bottle. I'm like, monk bottle? Okay. I think I started looking like Dalai Lama or worst case scenario, uh, what's that guy's name? Osama Bin Laden? <laughs> yeah, I know. But the thing is, you know, like the beard thing is nothing, you know, like... If you're wondering what this is all about it's actually the winter thing that i do you know i go with the hair and i do the thing it's like a match up without the beard you know it's like you know it's, it's just a thing so what once winter goes away perhaps this will go away too so anyway distraction i said i'm not going to do interaction let's just get so first of all this eros i have gone through quite a few bottles this was my very first eros that one you can see the bottle juice a little bit left as you can see moving this was the very first bottle that i bought from malaysia and this was very much like uh, $70 retail packaging, you know, very nice bottle. And you guys know I do love Versace a lot. I have covered almost all the possible Versaces available in the market for men. And I did since then buy another fragrance. That one also was uh, vintage. This is the oldest that I have. This was the second bottle that I bought. And this one came without the packaging. This is a old batch of Versace Eros. And I hardly use it because I go went through until this much. It's about 30 ml left. I do use this with uh, like a very stingy person. So this is very strong. And then I loved it so much. And I do have a page, obviously, like I do a little bit of decanting. So I got a big bottle. And so this is my third bottle. So Eros, why is it so popular? Why do I like it so much? To answer that, uh, I have to say two things. Versace is my favorite brand. I think I love almost all their fragrances a lot. And this is one of my most favorites. <clears throat> Apart from this, I like Versace Purong, I like Dreamer, I do like Dylan Blue, and I, there are a few other like Versace Menu Fresh, okay, Versace Man, number of fragrances. Uh, but when it comes to the flanker, it was released, I don't think it was released this year, it was released last year, I guess, and it got a lot of hype when it came out, the Eros Flame. And I did the initial review from a bottle of my brother, and I did not buy it. Recent days, I did buy it, a sample actually. And this one actually was from Fragrance BD, Fragrance Bangladesh. I was going through this and I was really craving for it because the perfume and the bottle really intrigues me. Very beautiful presentation. Uh, and I said in my first video review that at that current moment, back in that time, it's not worth worthy of retail pricing. And I will stick to that today. If I am going to be paying $100 around, I'm not going to buy this. Because if you're going to be paying that much, you can get a 200 ml of Versace Eros. So that is going to be much better value. It's already a win. But guess what happened recently? I found a bottle, which is a very good deal, a tester. You can see from the side, you'll see the tester, and the sticker will be here. And I got it for a very reasonable price from USB. And I did pull the trigger. I was broke. <laughs> and thank you, friend, for this generosity. Uh, I scored the bottle. So now let's do the comparison and tell you which one you should take. And I'm taking the smaller bottle, so they look similar. If I do hold the 200 ml, it will look like a little bit small, so it's not fair. <laughs> so. Eros, the new formulation, I did say Eros, new formulation, a little bit weaker than before. So this is my older bottle, so I get very big smoke from this. The 200 ml is still pretty good, but this one goes like 8 hours plus. The 200 ml goes like 6 hours, okay? So in our conditions, that's pretty good. Usually our condition doesn't last more than 2 hours, any fragrances. So Eros is basically a Tonka bomb with apple up top, mint, and uh, it has, uh, I think, vanilla, okay? So this kind of notes, it makes it sort of a very uh, sweet, at the same time piercing and a very 
uh, also you can say almost fresh with that mint okay it's very sharp perfume and it has been a legend for clubbing you know it gave like run for money to 1 million uh, ultra male it's considered was one of the great of all time so it did sell a lot does sell a lot still exists in the market but thankfully they have only one flanker and uh, this is called eros flame so if you look at comparison price wise this smaller 100 bottle sorry they have 30 ml bottles 50 100 and 200 ml i think those are the bottle sizes you can find miniature also you can get uh, so price wise the versace eros is a little bit cheaper than this in bangladesh this is going for about i think uh, if you looking to pay this eros flame is going to be at least 10 20 dollars more for the same amount of juice because it's brand new if you look at the presentation side by side they're exact same bottle but uh, coloration is different eros comes with that medusa head raised and eros you guys know already i'm just showing you really like this bottle presentation color is really beautiful it's very eye-catching okay and uh, same one here but it's red bottle okay and the cap is golden it both uh, both of them will have the medusa head up top okay so these are really nice touch but for the tester we have a sticker at the side and the caps are okay i mean sometimes not fit sometimes they are not so price point wise eros is cheaper this is a little bit more pricey if you're looking to buy retail now seasons to wear them both of them are all year round you can wear them in the winter you can wear them in the summer but i found the best time to wear this in bangladesh is winter because these fragrances really shine last longer and they develop naturally but you can wear them in the cooler summer nights at the same time almost all year round so here comes the main fact which one has a better smell okay so eros i said last time it was very easy for me to pick this as a winner because it's way cheaper but now if you look for a tester or now i think prices go, go a little bit down i think you can get this cheaper than hundred dollars eighty five dollars okay so if you talk about the opening i prefer the opening of eros flame okay it's very easy uh, the eros originally one the apple and the mint combo it's very piercing it's sweet at the same time it's minty so and it's sweet too okay and it's much more stronger but eros flame what they did with this they made it much more sweeter with the mandarin orange sort of i think there is a chinoto note or something like a very sweet exotic note and i really like the sweetness and the fruitiness from this it's really lovely it's much more warmer and uh, sweeter to be honest you know i like the opening just personal opinion many other people like this one so if you talk about the opening top notes eros flame wins but if you talk about the dry down basically they're the, almost the same perfume but this one will have that apple green apple at the vanilla this one will have only the vanilla and a little bit of sweetness so dry down wise i think eros will be more prominent okay on your skin still and longevity wise original eros lasts a little bit longer than eros flame so you will be saying like so isn't it a better isn't it an easy decision that eros wins every way performance better longevity wise is better and the fragrance it's more uh, safer people know this yes i understand but here's the thing i do not always um judge a fragrance just by the performance or the price point or also like uh compliments i always judge a fragrance based on the smell that is the most important criteria in terms of smell i think i prefer eros flame the reason being uh, is just a little bit more modernized let me smell it yeah it's a little bit more modernized and something about it it's a little bit more sweeter and it's not as aggressive it's a lot more lovey-dovey i think it will make an excellent dating scent so will this but it maybe is good for outdoors this one's gonna be good for restaurants even clubbing would be great but uh if you're dancing together i think this is gonna be the lady favorite this is my opinion and uh the fragrance sometimes feels like it's unisex so women might want to wear it on themselves but i have seen reviews videos that women love this perfume too so if you ask me i think brother tamid is very happy my brother Ahmad tamid how are you doing bro he is in uk right now and also my brother sizan both of them asked me can you redo this so i'll tell you despite eros having a better price point despite it having a very safe dna because it's already known and it lasts a little bit longer okay i still think now at the price point uh, that this one dropped a little bit its difference is not so much like before it was here and this was here for price okay for 100 ml you can get a 200 ml of this but now it's about 20 like odd dollars difference or 15 dollars difference i think prices are kind of okay and it's a brand new fragrance still 
So considering all that, you know, uh, I'm very happy with the pricing. Now it will go down even in future. This is what happens with Versace, uh, Paco Rabanne. After one year or so, it will be just same pricing as this. So it's a tie for me at this price point. Considering that price point came down a little bit, I really like the smell. I never said I did not like the smell. I really like it. And the bottles are kick-ass. So you can have either one. It depends on which one you like. I think uh, if you're not a collector, you don't need both. If you have a rose and you just are happy, perhaps you should finish your bottle and then upgrade or change it to a rose flame. Okay. So on the dry down, they're not really much different. It's almost like 80% similar. But uh, if you just want to make a change up, you should try Eros Flame. That's my uh, conclusion. And I leave it up to people once again, which one you love. But if you ask me in terms of smell, this is more modern. This is a lot more sweeter. <laughs> this is a lot more enjoyable. And this is something I think younger crowds going to really enjoy. Like Eros is, say, for 30s. And this is for 20s. You see? That's my conclusion. If you're a younger teenager, you should go for this one instead of this. That is my opinion. All right. But uh, that's just my opinion. Do not just watch reviews and buy perfumes. Try it on your own skin. You will know which one you want to like. Try it in both hands. See which one you like better and what's your criteria. So that's my review and comparison video between Eros and Eros Flame. Thankfully, not too many flankers out yet, but I'm pretty sure they will come up with more. Blue one, white one, perhaps. I don't know. <laughs> so until then, we'll just stick to this comparison video. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. And thanks for always supporting my page. Okay. Join Prakom Bangladesh in Facebook. That's where I'm very, very active. See you soon. Bye-bye.